All right, everyone, so exercise number five in our nine exercise progression for fixing your chest cave when you're squatting. We, exercise number one, I'm not gonna tell you five yet. When exercise number one, we did a rock back to restore mobility. Exercise number two, we did a glute bridge, making sure that we started with our hamstrings so that we were getting good motor control, good muscle activation. Exercise number three, we did a rocking exercise to hang on to the abs, hang on to this new mobility that we found, and put some load on the system that way. Make yourself start moving, start warming up. Exercise number four, we did Backwards bear crawl, nice backwards reach so that we're not crunching, making sure we're looking up. We got a nice position there, making sure we're feeling this. We started to integrate that, that squatting pattern by bringing your knees up just like this, but on the ground with our hands on the ground, our knees maybe even on the ground. Now exercise number five, we're over here on this <laughs> lovely ping pong table in my parents' basement. Um, we are going to do a wall supported squat. It's just like a wall squat that you'd know from, you know, basketball practice or whatever, but I like to do it a very particular way. So we're going to set ourselves up on the wall and just squat down a hair. Okay. I don't want it to burn too much because this one's more about position. So stay, same, uh, principles here, same idea. We want to put focus on the mobility aspect of this. But I want to, my legs are gonna burn after that workout I just did. <laughs> we wanna put emphasis on the mobility, but now we wanna to start to transition away from these remedial exercises and get into something that's a little bit more um, on your feet, a little bit more demanding, a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna rock your butt back like this, flatten your back out, and just keep your feet flat, okay? Those are the secrets there. Um, we're gonna reach forward just like this, making sure we're not jamming our shoulders back like this. It's not like I'm trying to pack my shoulder. I'm trying to get a nice long reach here, elongate my upper back. And then I feel my legs a lot, push my heels in the ground, good. We're just gonna hang on to that, okay? I want you to try to find those hamstrings again. We gotta keep those. We gotta keep those for these positions. We gotta keep those in our squat, so let's find them here. We don't have to squat here. We're just holding a mini squat position, so that makes it a little bit easier to mess around and find it. If you lose them, just hang out. You can just do this for about a minute. I like to do it for breaths, too. Make sure you look forward. As I exhale, as I stop talking, now I feel my abs a lot more. And that's the secret, okay? So back stays flat, arms stay reaching, making sure you're reaching without crunching again, okay? So big idea, look forward, okay? Even look up a little bit more if it helps you undo that crunching and feel your foot flat in the ground. So that's exercise number five in our anti-chest cave progression.